Hello everyone, it's Eric Songer and welcome back to another year, another week of what's happening in the Chaska Mill School West Band Department. This has been just a wonderful summer and it was the first summer where I did podcasts throughout the summer and I did two different podcasts. We did Second Floor Therapy where we talked about music education and middle school education and many topics that uh, fit into those uh, areas. And I also did a podcast called The Hits Don't Stop, which you can check out on iTunes, which is a look back at yesteryear and a top 40 countdown from the 80s or 90s. And I'm going to try to keep that podcast going. It's a monthly podcast that comes out near the end of every month. And so you can, again, check that out on iTunes. The Second Floor Therapy podcasts um, at the moment are going to come to an end, but they might start up again. We'll see how that goes. So. But every week what I do here, if this is your first time watching, is I take a look back at the week that was in Chaska Middle School West Music Department and then take a look at what's coming up and all the exciting things that are in our future. So uh, I'm going to start out by just taking a look back at the first week of school, which was amazing. Uh, so many cool sixth graders entering our school this year and, and so great to see. I think we have uh, 150 plus in our bands. This is the first year we've had three sixth grade bands at Chaska Middle School West since uh, we only had two middle schools in our district. So it's great to see so many kids making music in our school. And it was really fun the past two days to make some music in the band room with those sixth graders. And then of course, welcoming back all the seventh and eighth graders back to our program, back to our school. I'm really excited for those two groups as I get to work with them a second and a third year. Some wonderful kids, some wonderful musicians, and lots of great things on tap. And you can definitely check out like all the events and dates we have in two places on the Chaska Middle School West website. If you go to the band page, you'll be able to find all the events. And then if you are a student, you can go to your Google Classroom uh, and you can also let your parents jump on there and you can take a look at our CMSW handbook and check out all those dates. And also those handbooks, a hard copy was sent home with the kids this week too. So you can check out the dates plus all the guidelines that go along uh, to being a member of the band in the CMSW West, or CMSW band department. So uh, in addition to uh, getting through all the, uh, the seating charts and everything and playing for the first time, we uh, had a really fun time the first two days of school, the first day of band for all seven of our bands at CMSW, where we had a band, not like a concert band, but a rock band or rock slash jazz group play for our students. And I was able to bring in some of my best friends to come and play, including my wife Heidi on keyboards and uh, Kev Mills on drums and David Cocky on drums, as well as Chris Stoffer on bass guitar and Kai Brewster on electric guitar. And we performed uh, some Herbie Hancock, some Journey, some Pat, Pat Benatar, uh, Shut Up and Dance With Me. So it was really fun. The kids were waving their glow sticks around and a couple of the groups really got into it, which was really sweet. So. Uh, that was really exciting, and if you want to see video of that, you can go to my YouTube channel, which you might already be on since you're watching this podcast, and check out the first day of band 2018 and watch that really cool video. Uh, another great new thing this year is we have a brand new band director at CMSW. Her name is Ms. Idell. She comes to us from UW-Eau Claire. She is, this is her first full year job. She is a trombone player, and she is going to be a wonderful band director in our district. Uh, she's a really nice person, really funny, very knowledgeable, and uh, she's going to do great things. So I'm really excited to have Ms. Idell with us, and she'll probably be joining me at some point on some of these podcasts here and there. We'll kind of see how things go throughout the year. Also on these podcasts, uh, we'll have students come and join us sometimes, maybe some other guest artists that you never really know will come to you from remote locations when we're out and about, whether it's students on field trips or it's me at a conference or speaking at a college or something like that. So uh, it won't always be from my, my dark basement down here. So, But uh, hopefully you'll join us as many times as you can to check out what's happening in the CMSW band department. So so uh, as far as like details of things going on, so it was the first week and there were a lot of handouts and there were basically four things that all the kids got and then another thing that some of the students got that I'll just go through real quickly. I already mentioned the first one, and that's the handbook. And the handbook has probably most importantly the dates for all of our events this year. And then also it has a description of kind of what we do in our music program, some of the trips, some of the events. There's a little bit more of a description of those things in there, which is kind of cool. 
uh, it lists music stores that service us, which is very handy if you're renting instruments or need to buy stuff. Uh, it also has a uh, turn-in form on the back for the sixth graders because you're going to be getting a shirt and they need to know what size and color that shirt's going to be. So uh, you can turn that in when you can. The second handout was an order form for uh, Schmidt and Eckroff music. And if you need to order reeds or valve oil or slide cream or drumsticks, etc., you can order it using those sheets. I would suggest the following, that all clarinet and saxophone players have a box of reeds that has at least three reeds in them. Once you're down to three, you should be thinking about ordering a new box. If you are a brass player minus trombones, you should have a bottle of valve oil. And trombone players should have a container of slide cream and probably a squirt bottle with just some water in it. And finally, the percussionists need to have four things. They need drumsticks. They need bell mallets, either hard plastic or, or rubber mallets. And then they need yarn mallets so they can play the marimba. And then finally, they need a stick bag to put all three of those things into. So, so you can order all that stuff on those order forms. The third handout I gave out was all of our after-school events that start up in the fall, and it's through community education, and you can either return that, it was a dark pink sheet, to me with a check if you want to participate, or you can, and probably better, you can go online to www.ceforall.org and use your credit card to sign up for any number of those music activities. And I'm going to talk about a couple of those, actually probably four or five of those here in just a minute. But let me talk about the last handout that everyone got, and that was for Smart Music. Smart Music is a practice software that kids will be using in our band program at school. And it's an option to get it at home as well if you'd like to pay for it. And they got a light pink sheet that describes Smart Music and what it is. And it's basically a program where it has all the songs in their books and it shows you what notes they got right and wrong. It records you, it plays some music in the background. It's a pretty cool program. You can even look up fingerings and slide positions on it, so it's pretty neat. So it's called Smart Music. I'm gonna be demoing that for all the students uh, this coming week. And there's really no deadline on ordering that. It's just whenever you get it, it's a subscription from a year from when you order it. So. And it works on a PC, it works on a Mac, it works on an iPad, um, and you can go to their website to get specifics about what operating systems you need and all that. So the last handout that a few kids got was an instrument rental form, and that's for students who are using a school instrument for the year. And there is a rental fee that needs to be paid uh, as soon as you can, and that contract and rental fee need to be returned uh, to me, um, again, as soon as you can get that in. If the rental fee is a financial burden, then just let me know and we can work something out. So, uh, and if you still need a school instrument of some sort, let me know and uh, we'll see what we can do. We have a lot of kids needing school instruments this year, so I don't have many left, but we'll, we'll see if we can make something work. So, all right. So I mentioned that I would talk about after school classes a little bit. We have two after school classes starting next week. First one is marching band. The marching band is open to all students in band, grades six through eight, at West, East, and Pioneer Ridge. And it's at West on Tuesdays after school from 345 to 445 through starting this Tuesday, the 11th of September, and we run it through October 9th. And so it's five weeks, and you can sign for, up for it at www.ceforall.org, or again, send in a check with your child. In the marching band, you will uh, receive a shirt. We wear a marching band t-shirt along with jeans or shorts, depending on what the temperature is, for our two parades. And our two parades are the two homecoming parades in our district, which are the Chanhassen Homecoming Parade on October 5th and the Chaska Homecoming Parade on October 12th. Both of those parades are at 4 p.m. And they are, um, for the moment, supposed to be in the downtown area of both of uh, Chaska and Chanhassen. Sometimes they change that up depending on things like construction, which we know all too well in Chaska this summer, uh, but we'll let you know for sure. And we'll play probably a pop song or two, and we'll learn how to march without tripping and falling. Uh, we need flag twirlers as well if anyone wants to twirl a flag. So it's a really, really fun thing, so we'd love to have you get involved in the marching band this fall. And the second thing that starts next week is School of Rock. And School of Rock is a class where you can learn how to be in a rock band. Basically assumes that you have no experience playing 
rock and roll instruments, or maybe you want to learn a different rock instrument than you play. So you learn a little bit of guitar, piano, bass guitar, drum set, and singing. And then we put you in a band and we see what happens. We have you play and uh, we don't perform in front of an audience. We just perform in the band room or the orchestra room, wherever we're set up for that day. And uh, we just learn the songs you want to learn. So it's a really fun class just to get some experience doing the rock and roll thing. And it meets for five weeks on Thursdays after school, starting September 13th and running through October 11th. And again, this is through Community Ed. And you can sign up using that red sheet or going to www.ceforall.org. Now, some other classes that are coming up later this fall is we have the Hip Hop Academy, where students can learn how to DJ and rap and make music like hip hop and EDM music on the computers. And that starts up on Mondays after school, the uh, middle of October through the end of November. We have beginning guitar for students who want to learn how to play the guitar. And that runs on Tuesdays after school from mid-October till the end of November as well. And then we have the CMSW Jazz Band, 7th and 8th grade jazz band start up at the end of October on Thursdays and run through the beginning of April. And the 6th grade jazz band will run on Tuesdays starting right at the beginning of December and running through the first week of April. Our garage band and country bluegrass bands will run later on this fall. And we have auditions for those coming up in the beginning of October. And actually next week, I will have the audition material ready. So anyone who wants to get a jump start practicing that, you'll get a good month to look at that and get ready for those auditions. The Garage Band is an after school rock band that meets on Fridays after school. And we do, I believe, four performances, actually three performances and a tour. And the Country Bluegrass Band also meets one day a week after school on Mondays, starting in December. And they also do uh, two performances and one tour. So those are both really fun groups. So all those things are starting up. And I would be remiss in, in men not mentioning that uh, we had our rhythm section start up this past Thursday. And how exciting is that? The rhythm section is like our all-star band in school. And so I'm really excited to have a ton of great people in there. And uh, we already started learning a couple songs. And we're gearing up for playing at the Walking on the West Side event about a month from now. So that's all cool. Uh, a couple more things before I end this podcast. Uh, for those students who are interested in doing honor band experiences, we have uh, three coming up here in the near future. Uh, number one for seventh graders is this event called Small Ensemble Day, which is over on the other side of the Twin Cities. And it's open to any seventh grader that I feel should be nominated for that event. So you might be hearing from me about being in part of Small Ensemble Day. And then we also have auditions coming up for the Minnesota State Honor Band and Minnesota State Honor Jazz Band. And both of those groups have auditions coming up later this fall. The jazz band is uh, late October, the auditions are due. And the concert band auditions are due beginning of December. And I should have music for that, hopefully, sometime this week. And anybody who wants to audition for that can. It's typically, I, I reserve that for 8th graders and then just really over the top 6th and 7th grade band musicians. So uh, if you're interested, you can come talk to me. I might be talking to you as well. So we'll get that to you. Uh, I mentioned school instruments, uh, social media. Uh, oh, before I get to social media, uh, we have a really great grant that is up for uh, funding if you're interested. Uh, there's a program called Donors Choose, which is kind of like a GoFundMe for educators. But if you go to DonorsChoose.com and do a search for Chaska Middle School West or me, Eric Songer, you will find a uh, project we're trying to fund here in the next three weeks uh, where we're trying to get a new iMac computer for our band department. All the, the Mac computers that we use are through grants and uh, through outside funding. So we'd love to get some help with that. If you're interested in helping out the band department, you can donate to that by going to DonorsChoose.com and looking up Chaska Middle School West or Eric Songer. Uh, the program is called uh, The Next Generation of Music Education. So, all right. Um, usually, I also mention too, before I get to social media, which is usually the end of my podcast, I like to mention kind of what's happening next week after school. I already mentioned the after school events that we have, Marching Band and School of Rock. We have Rhythm Section next Thursday before school. We also have some performers during the school day, uh, many days during the week next Tuesday. DJ Gordy is going to be playing. Um, down in the cafeteria on Wednesday, it'll be DJ Casey, and on Thursday, it'll be DJ Jack. So you can get uh, get your, your groove on by listening to them next week. 
We have wind times next week, and we're still trying to work out exactly what those are going to look like next week, but it appears that uh, we're going to do some wind times for all the percussionists to come down. Uh, sixth grade, that means, just sixth grade percussionists, and uh, you're going to get a tour of the percussion section. Uh, we're going to meet with all the students who want to do a wind ensemble this year and kind of work out how that's going to look. We'd like to meet with all the students who are playing an instrument for the first time this year, so it maybe is your first time in band or you switched instruments this year, so we'd like to meet with them. Uh, I'd also like to meet with the tech crew, the kids who are interested in helping with the tech crew this year. So uh, those will all be happening during wind time uh, this week. Okay, finally, social media. So if you would like to, I send out reminder texts um, on a daily basis, sometimes every other day, reminding you when we have events, band lessons, assignments, all that kind of good stuff. And it's a great way to get those, those texts. It's also a great way for the students, if you use your phone to text a lot, where you don't have to give me your phone number and I don't give you mine, and we can still text each other about stuff that's going on if you ever have questions about things or I need to get a hold of you about something. So the way you do that is you just go onto your texting app, your messenger app, whatever it is, and type in the number 81010. And then the message you're going to send is the at symbol 18 band and then the number that represents what grade you're in. So at 18 band 6, at 18 band 7, or at 18 band 8. And then you hit send. It'll probably ask you for your name. It might ask you for your birthday, parents, phone number. Um, and then you're good to go. And you are signed up. You don't have to get any apps. You just send that message in and to the number 81010. Either at symbol 18 band 6, at 18 band 7, or at 18 band 8. You can also follow me on Twitter at CMSW Band. And there's a lot of great things there that you can follow. Uh, you can also uh, get on to my YouTube channel, which you're here right now, Mr. Sonner's channel. There's a lot of great information here, performer concerts, uh, lessons and, and practice material you can, you can work with, uh, like all the stuff out of your book is on here, and you can work on that kind of stuff. And all these podcasts uh, you can listen to as well, which is super sweet. And Google Classroom is the other place you can go. Oh, there's actually two more Google Classroom students. You can get information there. And then the school website, uh, district112.org slash CMW, and you can follow the links to the band page. So, all right, very, very cool. The first podcast for the school year is officially over, and what a great first week. I hope you're all getting a chance to enjoy this beautiful weather this weekend, and looking forward to playing a lot more next week and getting to know these sixth graders a lot better and reconnecting with all the seventh and eighth graders. So, um, Great, great first podcast. Great, great first week. We'll see you soon, everybody.